Hi guys and welcome to Tights TV. Uh, this is part three because uh, I've done uh, Dale and managed to get Brad on. That's all get done. So I've got the the lads on, Andy and Dave. Nice to see you both. Hi, you? Likewise. Uh, so yeah, Huddersfield Town game. Uh, Dave, it's just prolonging it and inevitable, isn't it? If we, you know, win and lose our draw tomorrow. Well, it's uh, it's not going to be a win, is it? Uh, one away win all season says it all, and. Um, mm. You know, going to the John Smith ain't giving me an easy trip. Uh, lost, lost already this season in the cup, and you know, players say they're resigning now to relegation. Looks to me like they've been resigning to relegation for since more than the the Peterborough game. Looks like they've been down in League One for the last couple of couple of months to me. But yeah, I think um, I think it'll be confirmed on Friday night. I can't see any other any other result than that. Yeah, Andy. You same like like Dave just said. Via one away win all season, we've already lost via in cup. Yeah, totally agree with Dave. Um, I mean, you know, um, I, I don't like saying that we're going to lose, and uh, it's very very painful to say that we will mm. do it. Uh, yeah, if I'm honest, uh, we're missing on everybody. I, I can't see see us getting no tomorrow. Um, yeah, like Dave says, I think uh, players have been resigned to that um, for, well, I think a long, long time ago. Um, I think manager does as well at Bakery's uh, hmm. uh, brain, shall we say? Um, but yeah, not looking, not looking good, and uh, yeah, it's just it's like waiting to uh, to be put down, really, isn't it? Um, just waiting. Um, I'd have preferred us to have gone down against Peterborough because just waiting, it, it's it's like being in a uh, waiting room at dentist at the minute. Horrible. Mm, okay. Yeah, I mean, as, as well, Huddersfield Town, they're, they're pushing for, I, I won't say automatic, but arguably to concrete this, the place in uh, playoffs, Huddersfield Town. They went through a bit of a blip, but I think they've won you know, the last few games. So they're up there, there about with Luton Town, you know, on mm. a similar budget to us. So it just goes to show we ambition and standards, uh, Dave, what you can achieve if you've got it together in a sway, not just on, on the pitch, but also off it as well. Absolutely. I mean, you know, with no disrespect to Buddersfield Town or, or Luton Town for that matter, those clubs have shown what they can do, you know, with ambition, where with players that are committed to the cause. And, um, you know, we don't have to spend crazy amounts of money like some teams do. And, um, yeah, it's it's a remarkable story for those two teams. That, you know, they're both, I don't think anyone would have expected either to be, you know, in the playoffs at the start of the season. Mm -hmm. Probably even the Luton and field fans. But, you know, they've, they've worked absolute wonders. And it's it's how a football club should be run. It's how I'd like our club to be run. Unfortunately, it's not. And um, I wish them the very best of luck because they're doing it the right way. Yeah. yeah. And it, it's just like what Dave's been saying, what we've been saying. Mm -hmm. If you've got a structure and a purpose, not only does the team play, play well, they've also got togetherness as well. So it's like a self leave and it just keeps on building and building. It's like us last year. We were fighting in playoffs and we were like keeping an eye out who we're going to be playing and it ended up being Swansea. Yeah. But again, it just goes to show what you can do with mentality and the structure in place, what can be get, get achieved on a similar to, to uh, yeah. what we are as a club. Yeah. I mean, um, like yeah, team like Luton have made some really good signings. It's like um, Snodgrass; they've got mm. Snodgrass uh, players like that. Why, why couldn't we have, uh, you know, bidded? Yeah. Uh, but we wouldn't have even asked. Uh, they, they've they go about it the right way, and I bet their budget's not as as much as what we've got. Um, so yeah, it just shows just shows how it's uh, managed, and I think that's what's frustrating. Um, and it's going to bite them now on arse, isn't it? Um, owners, but it's us fans as well that uh, gets dragged into it as well. Because um, it's paying customers, it's uh, it's been a crap season, hasn't it? It's been a write off. And uh, I, I said to my daughter, Maddie, I said, I know it's not going to rectify what's happened um, throughout the season, but I think tomorrow would have been a good opportunity, uh, opportunity to give something a little bit back to fans, like. So, for instance, um, season ticket holders, why not just give me a free I follow pass or something for tomorrow? Because mm -hmm. um, I ain't got Sky, but I could pay for it. But 
I'm, well, I'm not paying for it because I, I know what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think it was a perfect opportunity. And, uh, no, it, but yeah, going uh, back to art clubs running other clubs, yeah, they need to seriously uh, look at the sands. I think club needs a good player out from top to bottom. Um, I think first one will beat manager tomorrow um, mm -hmm. when, when we lose. Um, and yeah, uh, I just hope we don't uh, leave it to last minute for beginning the next season to get somebody else in. But uh, yeah, a, a total clear clear out for next season without a doubt. And this spreadsheet nonsense, they need to either, well, like we've been saying before, either do away with it or, um, you know, bend it a little bit um, to, for us to compete because I'm fearing already me what's going to happen next season. Well, when when we went to that meeting, uh, one thing that I did admit, uh, Khalid, is that processes weren't followed through summer one because uh, we had no CEO and that needs yeah. to be addressed. So he's on board with that. He's, he said he's going to be looking at it and identifying it. Why do we always start, start off, which is fair comment, why do we always start off at a season poorly? As What needs to change? What can we change? So going what on you've said there, Andy, uh, Dave, it's going to be a, a crucial summer, isn't it? Possibility of a new manager, but not also that, but probably players coming, players coming out, and really we need to be at ground running rather than being able to play catch up, don't we? To if if we're going to be in League One. Uh, well, like Andy said before, I'm dreading next season because mm -hmm. I think it's inevitable the board is still going to be there. It's inevitable we're going to have another. Referee, uh, referee, another manager from abroad. Um, we're going to get more players in from abroad, and we need to go domestic. It's what Luton have done with managers, with players. It's imperative that you know the leagues you're playing in. The manager doesn't, the players don't. It's shown. But you know we're going to lose players in the summer. That's inevitable now with uh, with going down. Um, not that I'm too fussed about that because. You know, I, I can't believe for a minute that some of these players, that the way they've played this season is they've, they've put their full effort into each game stand. Mm. You've seen how well Callum Britton can play, Styles, um, Hellick, Anderson. And it looks to me like they just didn't want to play for either manager this season. You know, and you know if you don't like your boss, you don't like your boss, but it doesn't stop you doing your job properly. You, you do your job to your best of your ability, and they haven't. And it's, it's not just a confidence thing. It's... Just just going on that then, Dave, what you've just said there, which is a good point, and I, I mentioned this briefly to uh, Dale earlier on, is that if Valishmail had still been here this season, do you think he'd have still been able to get the same tune out of his players, or do you think he wouldn't have been able to? Of course he would. Yeah. Of course he would. Because he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's a character. He's a he's the type of manager that you know is not going to take any Sheffield Wednesday exactly. in, in the dressing room or on the pitch. Yeah. He's He's got the dressing room... He looks like he's a, a decent person, mm. he's a fair person, but he's got that winning mentality and he knows what he's doing. Mm. There's no way that these players have regressed. They, they, they just can't, either can't get motivated or they can't be bothered or they don't want to play for Poya or uh, Schlopp. And that's just bad attitude for me, that is. And, you know, I couldn't care less if the majority of them didn't turn up for the next season at all. You know, bar a few this season, Collins, Morris, um, Bassi, he's, he's done well since he's come, and um, Jordan Williams, you know, he's, yeah. he's not the, the most gifted player in the world, he's a decent player, he's not the most gifted, but he gives 110% every game, he runs his bag out every game, mm. apart from those, I couldn't care less if the rest of them get cleared out, because their attitude is mm. not right for the club, I think next season it's never so we're going to get the same setup as we had this season, and we're not going to attract players, because we're going to be in League One, we're not in the Championship, we're, we're playing... You know, no disrespect again. We're playing Forest Green. We're playing possibly teams like Newport County and Bristol Rovers. Yeah. We're not playing Fulham, Bournemouth, mm. Middlesbrough, Sheffield United. You mm. know, we're playing teams that have got sort of like... It's like players that come to the, the Premier League and they want to play for teams that play in the Champions League. Mm. You know, they want to play with the big boys. And you come to Barnsley next season and, you know, what's the big teams in, in League One? Yeah. There aren't any. You know, Derby mm. County... Mm. And that's that's probably it. It's yeah. just going to be hard to attract players next season. So I think mm. it's going to be a long, hard season unless we can yeah. get someone in domestic, someone that knows what to do and someone that can turn us around. 
but I just don't think that the owners are going to do that. So I think it's going to be another hard season. And, you know, I think it's going to be a, you know, a lot of people might think we're going to bounce straight back. I think we'll struggle to stay on top after League One next season with the, mm. the way our setup's going at the moment. Mm. Yeah, just following up on that, Ben Andy, what they had been saying, you know, with players and that, it's going to be hard to attract them and that. Hard to players, what you've seen this season, who would you think would be more sorely missed? Who would you most likely to keep? I think Dave more or less said it, as in Morris, you know, Collins. Is there anybody yeah. else, or would you be now if a decent offer came in for him? It's time for a bit of a, a freshen up, a shake up. I, I think that we need it anyway. Um, <clears throat> and I think some players know that they're going. Mm. And they'll already have a, a, a club or a potential move lined up. Mm. Um, I wouldn't mind trying to get uh, Vita uh, if he's interested in stay, uh, you know stopping for it's League supposed One. Supposed to be a uh, contract, I think, if I believe in some. I'm, I'm sure I've read some. Oh, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind if they could get him. I think he's um, he's done all right him since uh, since he's uh, been starting. Mm. Um, but yeah, a lot of players are going to go anyway just to offset uh, money what we've lost out there. Um, yeah, true. definitely. Alec, I think he'll be main one uh, who will go. Um, Anderson, I'm not quite sure, but I don't think he's had a brilliant season, though. Anderson, it, I it, think he's it, been it, lost it's without right. having someone like a uh, Sol or Alec. I think when yeah. he's. With a new partner, he seems to be go like gone back in confidence. He's gone back to old way kind of old thing. Old one, yeah. Mm. He's, he's been all right, but he's not been brilliant, has he? But you could say that about a lot of them, really. Um, mm. Like Styles, um, I don't, I don't think Styles has been um, shadow of his player. Excellent. Isn't it? Mm. Yeah, but it keeps getting moved about in positions, and it's like mm. the Undermack as well. Um, I, I don't think he's. Um, given a chance because he's been converted in he a minute to is it a full back um, full back or centre back um, I just can't get mid around that if you want a full back or centre back go out and get one he's a midfielder yeah, exactly. and when he yeah. has come on as a midfielder it, it looks a decent unit so I'd use him as that but, mm. yeah no, no, just weird yeah, I, I think that's a player wasted at minute anyway I think he's yeah. just the up bench just to make bench up really True. Um, I don't think he features in plans at minute because he's Still being converted. Um, yeah, I can see Morris going. Uh, I don't think he'll be wanting to drop down in League One again. Um, I mean, Morris is all right, but he seems to get injured a lot, though, doesn't he? Um, you know, always counting a bit and, and niggles, but yeah, I think he'll be going. Um, we'll draw, I'm not sure. sure. Um, I think if an offer comes in, they'll go. I, I think there will be most players now just mm-hmm. to make uh, loss up. Balance books, that's going to be it, isn't it? Yeah. So, going on to Uddersfield game, then, Dave, just what we're on about with players. Uh, you could name it, you know, probably keep the same team as is because when you look on bench, apart from Woodrow and on the mark, just making up numbers, really, isn't it? Uh, especially with a couple of injuries, are Ellick and Collins are out for the season now. So, would you make any changes? I, I, it's, it's pointless asking he's going to change formation because he's not going to do that for the last four games, is he? Otherwise, he's done it now. So, would you see out any different uh, for tomorrow, Dave? Um, I can't see anything any different because <clears throat> that's just the way it is. But, you know, if it was up to me, you know, it's anything, any small glimmer we might have had disappeared on Monday. Um, yeah. You know, it's it's all bar confirmed. I'd, I'd be putting a, diff- a completely different team out. Yeah. The players aren't going to be staying... Like Andy said, they're gonna have clubs lined up. Um, people are gonna know inside Oakwell who's off. I'd be, you know, putting them on the bench, maybe leaving them out, and I'd try and give some of the youngsters some game time, you know, get them a last chance of um some experience in the championship. Mm. And then, you know, next season they've got a little bit to build on. Uh, we've got some good youngsters. Um going back to Honda Mark, I don't know what he's done wrong because like you said, when he's come on, he's shown some promise. Mm. Whether he's driven over players' cats, I mean, I don't know because he just doesn't seem to be given a chance at all. And um, he's been playing for Ireland. He's and you know, he, I can't remember which game he came on as a sub, and he was just looked to be bossing that midfield. I think he was stoked. Um, yeah, yeah, I think he was. It was sent to be like having a bit of a argy bargy and all on sidelines against Stuckin. It was Stoke, Stoke away, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stoke away, yeah, yeah. That was the one. And um, yeah, he looks like he's a. 
got a bit of a, a bit of fight and a bit of motivation. You know, so why is he not in the team? We need somebody on the pitch. Hmm. You know, that can in, in, ignite that bit of passion, ignite that that spark. You know, um, like we're saying with Ishmael, he can you know motivate the team. You know, in training in the changing rooms. You know, what, what we what we really need is a player like someone like you know Adam Hamill sort of person that will yeah. get onto the pitch and get people playing on the pitch. Because hmm. to me, he's the last player in in red and white that's played for the actual badge. Hmm. You know, he. he all right, his last season wasn't great, but his commitment could never be questioned. It could never be faltered, mm. and you know his passion. And again, he was a game changer. Even when he was inconsistent, he, his ability to change games and to lift the team. Yeah. You know, we need someone like that in in the starting eleven because there's there's no one there that when heads drop, there's, there's no one to pick you up and say, "Come on, we've got to go." Mm. I mean, look at Fulham. Uh, Fulham. I don't know what I'm saying today. Um, Reading on. Uh, Monday against Swansea. Yeah. Four one down. Four one down. Yeah. Imagine us four one down. We were four one down at Millwall. What do we do? Nothing. Hmm. Yeah. You know, the Reading their heads didn't drop. They hmm. fought back to four all. Hmm. Can you imagine us doing that? Hmm. You know, and they must I obviously didn't see the game, but they must have had some, you know, players on the pitch saying, Come on, it's four one down. We've yeah. still got to fight because the season's on the line. Something needs to happen. And they made it happen. Yeah, and we've got no one. We've got no one that motivates players like that. I I don't see anybody on the pitch, you know, shouting at the other players and trying to g m up and get them going. There's nothing like that. There was no leadership on the pitch, no leadership off the pitch, mm. and going down with the whimper. Yeah. So yeah, I I the players that aren't been haven't been putting the effort in, I just push them to the side and I try and give so, as much of the youngsters some championship game time as possible now because we're going to rely on some of those next season because. Sure. You know, mm. we're going to lose players. It's going to be hard to get players in. We've got to bring some youth through. And youth at League One level is different to youth at Championship level. You know, in League One, they're playing against um, players that aren't as good. I mean, you play against Fulham, you play against Bournemouth, you're playing against, you know, class players that have cost millions. You don't get that in League One. So, you know, you, you, you are developing players in the lower leagues. That's why you send them out alone to lower league clubs so they can mm. develop themselves. You know, they don't need to get sent out alone now because we'll be down there. So mm. we, we need to bring them through, and I think giving them a, a little bit, a bit of experience in the last few games of the season, you know, it could be, could be a bit invaluable. You mm. know, we got Huddersfield, Blackpool, Preston, and, Preston West, and West Brom. Brom. Yeah, yeah. You know, four games for them to, to, to get some game time and again against some decent players, so we can, you know, get a feel for that. You know, some maybe not so good players, but yeah, give them a bit of time and a bit of experience, and then be good to go with them next season, and then bring in. Who else we can bring in and just see what happens? It's all you can do, isn't it? Good thing what uh, you've been mentioning, Vivo Dave, as well. Uh, I'd probably agree, Andy, uh, is the leadership and characters. Someone like an Adam Hamill, it's it's what's been lacking. And people say, oh, yeah, experience is, it's kind of sounds played 100 games. It's, over, it's different kind of experience. Them under, them under league games haven't been in, like in a, a, an high quality championship or low bottom league. At Premier League side, it's been like at Bury and then to us kind of thing. Yeah. So it's all right looking at amount of appearances, but what has what has actually happened in men games and stuff like that. I think what what we do need is like an Andy Hamill. What yeah, it can frustrate you at times, but commitment, a passion, a belief, yeah. it can get your ass off at sea. There's a bit of rope there, and at the minute yeah. we it's fits and starts with a bit of Bassy when he does turn it on, Queener. But then when you look for leaders, it's like. Was actually there to, like Dave said, Reading four one down, and then all of a sudden they come back. It's, someone's got to head and scruff at neck and say, "Right, come on and drive it." Probably Paul Ince at side. Not everybody's cup yeah. of tea, mm -hmm. but he's a winner. He 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 wants to drive it and drive it, and that's his job. But when you look at Barnsley, I mean, we're going to Huddersfield tomorrow. But who have we got? I mean, it's, how many things is going to be against us here? We're going to be on Sky. We've got a one yeah. away win all season, and yeah. we're going on. <laughs> Form where it's like non existent, what hope is there against this field? You know, I've, I've just it, lost it, my words after that. Uh, it, yeah, it, I mean, it's unusual for me. Um, because regardless of who we play, I, I, you know, I do think we're going to win. Uh, mm. You know, we could play Barcelona and I think Barnsley's going to win, but not at minute. Um, what have you been drinking? <laughs> not that home brew again. <laughs> it is uh, it's that, that cider of mine. What I'm making it. Uh, I'll have a pint of that later. 
it knocks his socks off. Um, Brings them to the Preston but, game. <laughs> <laughs> need, need better stuff than that to watch this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I mean, going on tomorrow, um, yeah, I'm not expecting them to to win, if I'm honest. Um, I think it's obvious what's going to happen, but Right, then. Like so it. we'll come to score prediction. You teen it up nicely there, Andy. Nicely yeah. teen it up. So a score prediction, then what are you going to be going for? Oh, um and don't be saying if you've had a pint of that like happy juice. I want five to five mil Burnley. Five yeah, mil uh, Burnley. <laughs> <laughs> um oh god. Oh, I don't like saying that we're gonna lose. Uh, it's solid. I don't like saying we're gonna lose, but I'll say it's gonna be two on others field and I yeah, I just hope that we actually give him a game and we just don't go down. The, we win for it again. This, this if is they've it. gone out and actually fought for it and said, you know what, come away from here, but we're unlucky here. We give him a game. I just don't yeah. want it to be another Peterborough or another Millwall where it's like, no, no. What, what point? Just turn them for good foot motions. Yeah, what, what's what's point in sitting back? Because you know, any sure. yeah. that we have got, we need to go. And it's like we, if we have to play Woodrow, fetch him on. I'd start him straight away tomorrow. I, I honestly would. If he's not match fit, then take him off. Hmm. Um, yeah, we, we just need to have a proper go. Uh, I, I think that's what uh, fans deserve. Um, but a swap scoreline, oh God. Um, I'm going to say 2 1, but I'm not saying 0 2 because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sit it up, Ben Sandy. Come on, just it, fall it off went, it. It won't come out. Are you falling on West what? Yorkshire side or are you falling on South Yorkshire side? Um Push on that fence. Two, or is it two, a strong one, win? two one to um not Barnsley. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> right, Dave. Right, Dave. You're yeah, good, mate. <laughs> well, my prediction wasn't far off last Friday, was it? Five notes. Um, <laughs> um I think it's gonna be a defeat, inevitably. Um We did create some chances against Swansea last Friday yeah. with some poor finishing, let us down. So I think we might get a goal, uh, but inevitably I think we're going to lose. I'm going to go for 3-1 to Huddersfield. Hmm. But as long as um, we put in an effort and we're going to have That's fighting, all you need, isn't it? Commitment and effort. Thing. That's all we ask yeah. for, isn't it? All yeah. the time, you know. And like I said, uh, I interviewed Brad earlier and he said that they're on a good run right now and they feel like they're going to, like, Proper go for it because they they like they're saying like we were when we were in playoffs. It's like we're just taking every game and game, and you're not bothered who it is. You don't bother what's going to affect the league. You're just thinking about your own. I says, "Yep, fair comment." Um, and look, I, if Barnes come away and win two 0 I'd be happy. I'd be delirious if it were one 0 But when you look on one away win all season, the amount of chances, like Dave said, what we created and we didn't take them, and it seemed to be like that. I'll be playing it and just. We've got no to lose. Come on, we, we need a win. You know, against Reading, we were like, we bring Andy Bage, you went in 90th minute, but we wanted to win. You bring Strike on in 90th minute. So you got to you got to go for it. Not going to like put a goalkeeper up in a, every opportunity, but at least take the game to them and show them that you're in a game, not let yeah. them dictate to us. But yeah, we've got nothing to lose. We've got absolutely no. nothing to lose. You might as no. well go out there. You know, attack, give attack, it attack, and lose ten yeah. 0 Yeah, just give it a go. Let's go. That, that's that's all we ask for. Yeah, that's what fans. That's what fans want: a commitment and just a gear to go. And at least we've come away from a game and get it as all and tried. It's when you've come away from a game and we haven't get it be all and not tried. It's like what we're pointing back. At least you can yeah. come away and say, you know what, we've lost, but we're unlucky because we're X, Y, Z, and we. Were, but we're coming away and we're saying we deserve that. Because we sat up, we sat back for X amount of time or whatever. It's his own, own mistakes, his own down doing, isn't it? Yeah. So, right, everybody what's watching, please leave your likes, subscribes, and shares. Leave your comments below. See what your uh, your guys think. You might agree with everybody on here, or you might say no, it's going to be a draw. It might be a win. Um, like I said, we all want balance to win, but realistically, is it going to happen? But I want to say thank you to Andy. Thank you today for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, not many games left, so we'll get you back on again. Uh, I'm just trying to think now. Blackpool will be next game, won't it? Midweek. So I'll try and get something sorted out of the weekend. Um, who, who knows what is it going to be confirmed or not? But we'll see. So, David, Andy, thanks for joining me, mate.
No problem. Pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. One thing left to say. You Reds. Thank you.